Bennett, and earlier this year, there was a discussion about restarting this task force today. They talked about staffing the resources available and how this task force will help police solve crimes. Mayors Kurt Lang of Hamden and Kevin Scarpati of Meriden say crime like shootings is not exclusive to New Haven. By collaborating, cities can work together in finding those responsible and putting them behind bars. They say too many times when a victim dies, a family is always hurting and they always tell police they want justice. New Haven Police Chief Renee Dominguez wants to make that happen for those suffering families, emphasizing it's important to get those suspects off the streets because they will shoot again. She says shootings have gone down by about 30 percent in New Haven between 2020 and 2021, and she expects this task force will help reduce crime even more. This task force is not costing the city or residents any money. They are simply using the resources they already have and combining it all together. One thing I hear consistently from, in particular, family members and friends who have lost a loved one is they want justice. And someone that shoots potentially will shoot again. And so as we work to solve all these shootings, uh, I think that I can speak for everyone here that we are deeply dedicated to keeping our communities safe. And what our federal partners bring us, not just ATF, but the DEA and the FBI who are also here today, is the ability to use more resources to do a job, to do a job better, to do the job smarter, and to be able to reduce the amount of time that it takes to investigate. And this task force will consist up to 13 people. And coming up at 5, I'll talk more about specifically how this task force will help police solve those crimes. I'm live in New Haven, Carmen Chow, Fox 61 News.